Going, here we go, it's going, it says so, you are live! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Memorial Day special of the Happy Oyster Bring It On Home. We got the bearded wonder over here, hanging on, relaxing, wave, bearded, there he is. We'll be talking with him a little later on. Thanks for the thumbs up, whoever gave us a thumbs up. If you're not familiar with who we are, we are the Happy Oyster, coming to you live each and every Saturday at 10 a.m. We're working our way to the next level. I think we're on like episode 10 or 12 or something like that. Remember that we've been doing this for 12 weeks. We've graduated on in life. Uh, some people are saying, so Bart, what are you? Are you retired? And I'm like, oh, I guess. I, uh, not really. Greetings, Will. And uh, this is the first Memorial Day in 43 years that I have not been working retail. And I thought about it long and hard before I said that statement this morning. I was thinking about it. I'm like, I'm not working retail 43 years ago for 43 years. And then I started to think a little bit more. I'm like, 4th of July, 43 years I haven't worked. You know, this, this one coming up, this 4th of July, this will be the first 4th of July I've ever had in my whole adult life to be able to, I'm serious, to be able to let loose. Now, granted, I kid you not, back in my younger years, yeah, I worked on the 4th of July, but damn, I partied too. Don't kid yourself. We are having a blast now that we don't have to be any specific place at any specific time unless I've made a commitment with somebody you know whatever and uh, I'm having a blast I'm having a great day I am so thankful to be an American I am thankful for all of the people that have given their life to continue to keep our freedom is where I'm getting at America is great bottom line we seem to be the best in that whole democracy going out there helping other people and today is the day that we remember all of the fallen heroes or this weekend which it's coming you get the idea memorial day uh of all armed forces and thanks for keeping the freedom alive and god bless america and on that happy note, I decided that I was going to break down once again, and not break down, Freddie thinks I'm breaking down, and my, my buddy Paul over at Great Guns thinks I'm absolutely cuckoo. But I had to do it once again. A beautiful new pair of red wing boots made in America. There's the flag. Uh, I wear them proud. They are today's sponsor. Bring it on home. Uh, red wing shoes. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fred, Fred even noticed that I had my old ones on. Said, Fred says, the juice. Well, I went and picked up my old ones yesterday. Uh, they, they got resold. I don't know if I might have, I'm not sure. I shot a picture for somebody. But anyway, the, it's a whole like, bullet hole going through. I get about 18 months out of them. And here's what they look like now. Now, I'm going to have a hard time with that. Oh, you know what I can do is I can switch the camera around. A girl. There we go. <laughs> now, let me just put this up for a minute. Now I can look at Fred. I can look at everything. Okay. Hopefully, my stick isn't in the way. It doesn't look to be. Good deal. Bring it on home. So my old boots are looking like a million bucks, if I do say so myself. They put a nice brand new sole on that baby. Looking good, right? Juice on, they're good to go for another six, eight months. At least, at least. You know what I was thinking about, Fred? I was thinking about keeping a good pair of boots for going out. Those go, the new ones. And then my other ones, these ones that I got on are for now for work. And they got a brand new, they feel like a million dollars. Like brand new. I'm sure they do. Uh, so it's all good. Hopefully we're not going to get a, um, Sunburn out here, Fred. I still got my three dollar three dollar Crocs. Fred's got a little story to tell you. Three dollar Crocs. Three dollar Crocs. Fred had his. Let me straighten that up. Jimmy Frozen's in the house. Hi, Jimmy. What's going on? 
Red Wing boots are just, these particular model happens to be, I feel, the best out there. Right. So, you need a chair too, Fred. So Fred went and got himself a pair of shoes. Yeah, but I had to pick through them all to find the ones that were made in the USA. Because <laughs> I can't buy Vietnam. <laughs> My, the ones I bought are made in the United USA too. Oh, they are. Yeah, the ones that were discontinued. Uh, so they're all going. To, they're, they're going to all Chinese and Vietnam production. But mine were discontinued, and I saved seventy-five bucks. So that's the only reason I bought them. And they're horrible. They, you you got to break them in. You can only wear them for a little while. I guess. I guess they'll break in, you know. Well, that's why I was going to that other flavor. You know, I used to be able to wear those old ones right out of the barn mm -hmm. and uh, and whatnot. But I, I wore them for two, three days, but I was out on the bay for those days that I was off, that I was wearing them. So really, I was wearing waders, you know. These these chairs came with the boat. They did. Yep. Not bad, right? Man, not bad. That's right. Get this out of here. I love it. Oh yeah. So that's the story there. So what else is new, Fred? Let me see if I can lower this down. Let me see how I do. Hang on, we're reconnecting. We're reconnecting. I think we're connected. I think that's it. There we go. We're back on, Fred. All right. You gotta move a little bit, Fred. Okay. <laughs> you have to move like over to here, maybe, or something. We'll be able to there. Let's see if that works. That's better. We, we want to be in the sun. We like the sun. Oh, yeah. How's that? Perfect. How you doing? That's good? Good. So, uh... Got to be close enough so that the volume can hear us and the microphone can That's hear us. That's probably not good. What's that? You think I'm going to land on my ass? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. That yeah. would be good. Cheers. That would be funny. That would be hilarious, actually. Oh, so uh, we went to Red Wing. Fred got a pair of boots. I got a pair of boots. We had a good old time. The uh, went to Harbor Freight because we're we're dealing with stuff that needs to be fixed. And we're in a conundrum of whether we should buy a Honda or whether we should buy the Predator, which is half the price, by the way. Actually, more than half the price. With a coupon and a this and a that from Harbor Freight. Those of you who don't know who Harbor Freight is, it's a... They sell Chang Wang tools. Chang Lang Dang tools. tools and, you know, accoutrements to tools, you know, right. uh, all of that kind of stuff. Whether it be compressors or power tools or hand tools or sockets or... Sometimes the quality is pretty good, sometimes the quality is and but they are pumping this Predator Series generator, inverter generator against Honda. And, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know, I've never owned a generator. I always, wherever I was, I always had power wherever it was. Honda's like $1,200 by the time you pay the tax. And this one was... 400 Plus tax, yeah. And we're going to put it in salt water, so we can't see the... There's no point in putting a generator that's going to last for 20 years. On normal conditions. Under normal conditions. But in, in, out in the salt water where we know it's going to die in two years or less. Who knows? We, can, we might get lucky. You know? So maybe this is going to die in a year and yeah, we, right. all right, well, we're going to chalk it up. Right. But it probably it won't. It'll probably go. I think because of the fact that we are aware of the conditions that it's in, we're going to hopefully be on some sort of a maintenance schedule, i.e. WD-40 can on a regular basis. Yeah. We're going to try to keep it under a little bit of cover. Yeah, keep the salt water off. You know, probably... um, but it's no matter what, the salt air is there. It's just not going to, we're not going to be able to avoid it. Right. So it is what it is. We're going to let it rip and we're going to show you. And I'm sure you guys would like to check it out. Yeah, it's, so, it's expendable. Yeah, you know, 400 bucks, you, you know. You can buy two for the price of one. Yeah, maybe even more. Maybe even more. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to we're gonna find out. And you guys are along for the ride. So we got ourselves a Predator. I have already started it up. I tried it out. Uh, Fred hasn't seen it go yet. 
but we're gonna get it out. You wanna try to cut that pipe with that with that cutoff wheel with that generator on? That would be impressive, but I don't believe it'll do it. We're gonna try it out. <laughs> we're gonna try it out. We're gonna get that generator going. We're gonna show you guys what's going on. It's gonna get loud. Not real loud. Not super loud. The saw is gonna get loud. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. But the generator is smooth. Yeah, it's quiet. Now he doesn't know that I tested it already, so kind of like I gave it the test. I'll tell you what the test is. I had the tumbler running and the skill saw at the same time. Well, that's strong. Now. That's, that's a strong. skill. Now I did not actually cut with the skill saw. I just turned it on. Running, right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. The cutoff thing is going to be a test. It is. It is. We're gonna, and you guys are along for the ride. Enough of our bullshit, Fred. Let's, Let's get on it. Huh? <laughs> Let's do it. It can be done. While we're setting up for that, let's uh, let's go over and see who's saying hello. Morning, Artie Mike. What's going on? You know what we're gonna do? You gotta get the thing out. Yeah. Bring it on home. Ten speed. The Chinese Jap Chinism one. You should go to Marine Retail Store. You pay 10 times the normal price. I know. We already know that. Anything related, if it says Marine on it, it's like they jack it up double, man. Why is that? Haircut time. No Dean Parks. It is not haircut time in any way, Ray, shape, or form. Or form. <laughs> Fred is listening there. Okay. There is a reason why we're like this. In a past life, in a galaxy long, long ago, I ran a bike shop for 43 years. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. I might even have to take this off of my Yeti. Because uh, he might be getting too many questions. I'm getting hassled in 7-Eleven. Oh, you are too? Oh, yeah. Oh, you see, I go into 7-Eleven now like this. I see somebody I know, and I'm just, I head down. It's like you're in jail, man. It's like you're in jail. You just do not make eye contact. You keep your head down and you keep up. Now, not that I know about being in jail, but you get the idea. Uh, anyway, to make a long story longer, it's ugly, man. It's ugly. The questions that you get, my wife doesn't understand. So the haircut is part of the disguise. And the, I can't wear my colors like Fred showed that logo before. No, you can't show that. No. Uh, all right, what are we going to need? We're going to need the generator itself. We're going to need an extension cord. I'll be right back. We're going to need an Allen key. <clears throat> what size? It's pretty big. Six? Six, big. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I got hassled this morning by, uh, you remember the Guatemalan guy that bought the, uh, The Cannondale? He bought the Cannondale and then he bought that bike for me, that real that real nice bike that is handmade frame in New England. What the hell was that bike? It was the one that had the lug frame that was brazed. It was real nice. It was old? Fairly old. Yeah. I think that's too small. Bigger? What is that? Does that have five or six? Bigger. Bigger? I ain't got it. Uh -huh. Vice grips will work. He said, he, he said, you have any, what happened to bike shop? Oh, got any used, used bike, used bike? The used bikes, he's looking for used bikes. Yeah, I got used bikes. Ooh, baby. All right, so we'll start the generator over here and we'll give him some action over there. That's what you should have done. We gotta get one of that for that. All right, let me give this a turn around. All right, now you know what I'm gonna hold mode. Let me unhook this thing from the. Uh oh. Hold on, hold on, to yourselves. So the delay. There we go. All right. So Fred's over here getting, and uh, we're gonna try out the 
generator. Is it that the generator looks like? There she is. Doesn't she look nice? Looks cool, right? I think so. All right, here we go. Found that fat, happy, oh, the fat and happy oyster company online. Yeah. Back over to here. Let me put this down for a second. I don't want to put it. I got to put it in a tripod. Do, do, do. All the other venues. The whole All right, we're good. We're good. Sorry, guys. Hi, Nate. TV. There, we're good. Is it going to work, Fred, or not? Is that blurry for a reason? Or? Let me see if I can clean that off a little bit. Whoa. All right. Yes, as a matter of fact, the MS-13 gang is in Long Island, uh, Artie Mike. And uh, they're my friends. They're, uh, they're, they, it is what, you know, whatever. All right. All right, here we go. Here she comes. Let me get her out. Get out of the way for it. Go ahead. Go, go man your station. Okay. Battle stations, everyone. Battle stations. This thing is super simple and easy. Super easy. Oh, that's it. We almost got the generator and the saw in the same shot, Fred. Oh, yeah, we are. We're getting there now. Now we're cooking. Now we got the generator and the, and the saw in case something blows up or goes kaboom. We're good. We need to run the Good deal. All right. So I told you I, I, I already tried this thing up for a little bit, right? So you have to take the gas tank and you have to flip the gas tank. I guess that's a little vent thing, right? Yep. So that all you gotta do is just turn this thing to start, which I guess is like an automatic chokage, right? Yeah. And basically make sure that I guess the thing is off, right? Yep, yep, off. And I don't have anything plugged in, so we're gonna give it a little pull. Now, of course, a Honda is regulated how long, like first pull, right? <laughs> Let it run for a minute. Here, kick up a little bit. Turn it to run. Pretty quiet. All right. Now we shall see what happens. Got 
something to do with it. What? Bullshit. I think if the saw works, the saw works. I don't think, I think this thing is putting out plenty of juice. And uh, it's going to take just as long with the generator or with that. Uh, I guess we can shut this off now. Now we're going to hear it. Come on, Fred. What's the story? Well, that's, that's Schedule 125. And it's All right. So, but that, that, I don't give a shit about the material you're cutting. Actual electric from the wall versus electric from the generator. Way better. What is? The wall. The wall is better? Because okay. that'll run it, but as soon as you put a load on it, it pops it. Well, you were able to cut it through, though, yeah, a little bit. A little bit, but it's, you're going, when you load it up, you're going over, you're pulling more amperage. But I, I hit the button on the side there. That's what that should do. It's some sort of something, something automatic throttle, something, something. Well, that lets it idle. It goes to an idle mode, and then when it gets a load on it, it goes up to RPM. That's the auto idle. Okay. The ESC throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell's that? E it let it'll it'll sit there idling until it gets a load. Then when it gets a load, it automatically puts it up. Right. Yeah. That's got to be pushed on all times, unless you're running something. Get out of your wasp. Well, if you're running the. All we care about is that that tumbler goes around. And it goes around smooth silk with that thing. It doesn't draw, but nothing. Good. And I'm anxious to see what happens with the wash down pump. Right. So, all right. So we got number one. We got number two. Now, where is that pipe going? No, that pipe's got to go inside of that other thing that's going on. We've we've redesigned our crane altogether. So, all right. Get a bike generator. I don't think so. Get a what? A bike generator. No. <laughs> no, that's not happening. Oh, Fred. All right, let's turn this back around this way. Let's see what we got. That's not going to happen. Let's go here. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Is this camera better than the front camera? I don't know. What do you got, Fred? Anything good? Got any, anybody got any questions? How long have we been on for? Are we about ready to get to work now? Oh, we've been on for what? What time is it? Oh, it's 10.30? Come on. <laughs> well, we don't have a problem problem hooking up with uh, with uh, with a half an hour's worth of content mm -hmm. no, no way no, baby no. yeah bring it on the uh, yeah that thing is that thing would be awesome if you had a little camper or something like that that generally is yeah. sufficient for the quality yeah. above for anything yeah, that you it probably won't run the AC like that but it'll run everything else it will, yeah on AC <clears throat> if you're heating something or cooling something it takes a lot where are the oysters? Long Island Joe Lucas, that is a good question. Where are the oysters? The oysters we're in process of. Uh, as a matter of fact, I went by and saw my buddies at the hatchery yet today. We know where they are. 
they uh, the, the guys at the hatchery are uh, are doing their thing. I was thinking about live broadcasting, but it was a little too short notice. Maybe next week we'll live broadcast from the hatchery. Uh, it's is it a show about oysters? Or is it more of a show about two old guys having a little fun? I don't know, maybe a combination of both. What do you think about that? Yeah, we'll be having fun when we get the money. I uh, <laughs> I was having fun today, this week out in the bay. It was beautiful. I've been working out in the bay with a, I don't know, Long Island Joe, I don't know if you're familiar with great gun shellfish. They make a product called Little Guns. The Little Guns have been getting an extreme amount of great press with good reason. They're a premium product, a real super premium deluxe product. Check them out. Great gun shellfish. The prodigal guns, the great guns will be coming up soon, the big guns. Uh, they are growing like wildfire out there, let me tell you what. And the water's warming up. So yeah. big are you bass. Still alive? So big bass. We are still alive, baby G. Baby G is in the house. Here's our awesome hydraulic Sea Star steering pump. Pump. With stainless wheel. I'll tell you. Uh -huh. Nothing uh, but the best. It came with the boat, otherwise we'd be having a long stick with That's right. <laughs> So we got Baby G in the house. Baby G is, Baby G is, what are you calling? He's going to work, right? You're on your way to work? Are you going to get off me, your phone? Yeah, she put me on the schedule for this weekend. I didn't even have to be on the schedule, but that's okay. I'll go do it for a good deed. What do you mean go do it for a good deed? You're going to get paid, right? Yeah, but that's the thing I want to do on the road for a weekend, you know? Do I think do I think that the new septic systems on Long Island are gonna help the bays and sound? Could, Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. You think I could drive your truck to, to work? To work? What do you mean? On the farmstead? No. The side? No. Why not? Because I need my truck. I'm going to home to Poto. I don't wanna go. Well, too bad. I get to go to home to Poto. So Baby G's got some information to send us to tell us. What's the story, Baby G? You are Officially a certified nurse assistant. Speak up for the camera a little bit more, please. A certified nurse assistant. Assistant, which means you can uh, work as a nurse. At a nursing home. I have to be 18 to work at a hospital. Yeah. Which means you can work as a nurse at a hospital. But that's okay. I'm going to get my feet wet at the local nursing home. Yeah. Cool. And it pays pretty good, and it's going to show you on the books. And with a little, if you keep on doing it, you're going to be able to get a loan uh, for a newer car. All that. Yep. So there you have it. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, she wanted to show her. She's going above and beyond because her real ultimate goal is to become a trauma nurse. So you want to be in there with the blood and guts and like surgery and like the guys are coming in and now they're all messed up hit and you're going to hit by a train and you're going to make them better again. That's what you want to do. Yeah. God bless you. We need more people like that. Isn't that exciting? Nitrates also are causing a major life. So I, I posted before about green lawn. Green lawns are no good. Uh, my lawn is, n I have no fertilizer. I don't even really water it, to tell you the truth. I like, like it said, when have it have you seen the horrors at the nursing home? I have seen the horrors, but you know, I'm a normal girl and I'm not there to go hurt anybody. I'm not there to go smack an old woman because she's not no, doing something. That, that's not the question. Have you seen the horrors? Meaning, you know, you're going to go out there and try to do better than these other places yeah. of these nursing homes and make a nursing home better is what he's trying to get at. Yeah. That's what, yeah. Right. And again, this is where a lot of nurses start and some nurses that are not too driving might stay there. Uh, but whatever the case is, she's doing an awesome job. Super proud of her. Uh, and she's going now, she's learning some stuff above and beyond the call of duty, right? Meaning not in the syllabus. Uh, and that stuff is not in the syllabus because you've covered all of your stuff, you've got your test, your certification, blah, blah, blah. And she's going to show us how to properly don surgery. How do you know that? What's that? How do you know that? How do I know that? She asks, huh? She, there's a lot of things you might not know about me, baby G. How, pretty, how, how to don and doff. <laughs> that means take, put on and take off. Do you know what they call this type of equipment? What type of equipment? Like this. And this PPA. PPE. PPE. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Personal protective equipment. There goes Mama Son. She's off going uh, off there. Uh, when Scoop comes in, give him a little bit of a. Uh, huh? Scoop. I'm trying. Oh, oh, geez. Let me. Hey, Tony. You got, yeah, you're, you're looking like a million dollars over there. You got to come over and say hello. Everybody's been wondering where Tony Joe is. There's Mrs. Oyster Man. 
Oyster Man? Oh, Miss Oyster Man, yep. Right. <laughs> right. Over here. On the other side. Are you in your bikini in the sun? I'm sitting in the sun. There you go. How are you? Good. Good. All right, All right. good be... luck. Good luck. Go sell a house. Right. Have fun. Yep. And uh, we'll go to that thing tonight. All right. There you have it. To the show. What time is it? What time is it? It I'm is 10.32. Right you got to do what? Makeup. Makeup? What do you need makeup for? You're beautiful enough. All right, here we go. Donning and doffing. Dun, dun, dun. All right, go. Show us. Well, I have to do show the table. I don't want that like that. Well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you got to be trendy. Oh, okay. All right, you come up. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, you want it to go down more? I can make it go down more. You gotta just turn it a little bit. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. How's that? Good. Is that good? All right, I'll be the cameraman. You be the thing. Okay. So right. we learned how to put on. You gotta speak up. We learned how to put on sterile gloves, but these are already used because we already practiced doing it. So, as you can see, they're expired already, but because my nursing teacher gets stuff from the hospital where she works at, so everything that was expired, she gets to bring to the classroom and show us. So it gotcha. comes like this. There's a whole bunch of different sizes, whatever. I didn't get to pick my size because she only had one size. Gotcha. So obviously, these are probably the gloves that nobody uses this size. Whatever. So it goes like that. So after you wash your hands, you have to walk with your hands up. And they can be below your the up. They can be by like this up. Gotcha. So you open it up. One's right, one's left, and you can only touch right here on um, these little things and right here. And apparently these are kind of you know messed up, so I'm trying it out. So you open it up. There's some mineral oil on here from. <laughs> You're the one who put it on. So you start with your dominant hand in case you guys ever have to do it, you know, for like oystering or something. <laughs> dominant hand. You start with your dominant hand. You can only touch this cuff right here because this is kind of inside out. So. I think I messed up their gloves. I don't know. So you start with your dominant hand. And you slip this puppy on like that. And you can only touch the only touch the inside. You can't the touch the outside of the glove. Just hit you. Ta -da, ta -da. And then you can you can you can't touch the outside of the cuff with this sterile glove. So you go underneath like this, and you can only touch the like the inside. And then you go like this, and it goes on like that. Ta da. And now once you are properly sterilized. And now when you're walking to to the surgical room, you have to walk like this. You can't go like this. You can't go like this. You can't touch you can't yourself. Go. You're, you're, you're. Dun, 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 dun. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. So that's how you put on Sorry surgical about. gloves. So that is how it's done with surgical gloves. Uh, can, oh, uh, I had a question for you. That was just when I was about to get done. The question is that it seems to be. Hey, it friend. seems to be. The infection in hospitals is a big deal. Would you agree with that? What and this is part of the whole thing. Is it is it training? Is it what do you know what, do you what, know, do you, what, do you know what, what a hospital think? acquired infection is called? A hospital acquired of infection, infection is a called No, I do not. A nosocomial infection. A nosocomial. Okay. There you have it. There is a nosocomial. Bring it on home. All right. So there we have MRSA. No, not MRSA. Well, MRSA is also in the hospitals too. Um, so, all right, what else you got? Nothing. All right, I got nothing else either. I gotta go. Okay, you gotta go get your makeup on and go to work. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Bye. 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 Yeah. All right. Uh, very serious stuff, infectious control. Really, you can infect there's whole positions here in hospitals over infectious control. Um, I'm starting to sweat a little bit, Fred. It's a nice day. Uh, I think it's time. I think it's time to get to work. Bring it on home. All right. Time to ride the motorcycle. You going somewhere on your motorcycle? I don't know, mate. Nah, there's too many idiots out on the road. There are a lot of people out there that are just absolutely cuckoo. Yep.
and there are a lot of people. Randy Kelly, what's going on? Randy, you're not seeing or hearing the show? Something's the matter with your volume, I guess. Ours, everybody else is good, I think. So, uh, I don't know. It was a little time delay there or something was going on. I don't know. Uh, what else you got for me? I got nothing else. We're going to get that going. We got that going. We gave them the update on that. We told them about Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. We went over the Predator. How did your winch go? You don't know yet. They didn't even open it up. Fred bought a winch because he's got a bunch of junk. He's got a move. That was one of the other things that we were at Harbor Freight for. That ought to be quite the interesting uh, project as well. Yep. So we'll have to check that. We'll, we'll give you an update on that. I, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, our show wouldn't be half as much fun if it wasn't for all of you guys. We love you guys very much. Uh, we just enjoy doing this. So, you know, it's not necessary. We are not for profit. What's that? Crazy Glue? No. Sorry. I got the PL Premium. I work on your nail. <laughs> she, she needs crazy glue. So, uh, again, we're just enjoying ourselves. We're just having fun. We're just sharing our stories with you guys. We will soon begin. Sooner or later, we'll have some permits in hand. And we'll be able to put some oysters in the drink. And we'll be able to retrieve the oysters out of the drink. And we'll be able to eat the oysters out of the drink. And we'll be able to sell the oysters out of the drink. Uh, but in the meantime, we have to get them in there, we have to harvest, we have to tumble them, we have to treat them, we have to coddle them, we have to love them, we have to talk to them, and that's coming up. And hopefully we're going to be live. Every Has anybody watched that volcano in Hawaii? No. Crazy. They got a live feed in Hawaii of the, of the volcano. Check it out. That's kind of something similar to what we got going on. They had over 8,500 people watching that live at one specific time. Mm. Uh, I was watching that when there was only a couple of hundred last week. It was crazy. Uh, go over and check it out. The live Kilauea Volcano. All right. I want everybody to have a good week. I want everybody to stay safe. I want everybody to remember this weekend. You know, it's not... It's not so much about the barbecue and the this and the that. It's about, you know, there's a lot of people that gave their lives for the democracy of the United States of America. And there's a lot of people that have given their lives for the other countries in America, uh, other than America, uh, that were Americans to help their countries. Uh, so it's a Memorial Day in America for all of those fallen soldiers. And again, thanks and hats off to you guys. Frederick. Good to see you. Hey, for thin. We're going to see you next week, 10 a.m. live at the Happy Oyster. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and or subscribe. Please give us a comment below. If you can help us out with a comment below of where you're from this week. Hit it on down. Maybe the state, the country, whatever you want. I appreciate it very much. Everybody thumbs up if you can. Uh, thanks for putting up with our kind of... Eh, Feed broadcast. It's a holiday weekend. A lot of people online. Our speed's a little slow, and it's not like the shop. But hey, it's all good. It's really all good. <laughs> There's no air being done. So uh, we're laughing. And we're having a good time. Guys, enjoy. Have fun. Be safe. Thumbs up, Fred. Thumbs up. A little bit more. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. See you guys. Off. Now it doesn't go for me. It went for Baby G, but it didn't go for me. That's the worst.